Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Today is a beautiful weather. We're having some really nice hot days this summer, which is great. Um, today we're going to go to Murawai and we're going to go and see the Gannets up there and we're going to get some ice cream later on. So we're going to bring you along, but first off we're going to just do a few things around home and then we're going to head on out. got another light bulb out that's quite a common thing here in this house I'm always changing light bulbs so I'll just change it over before we head out for the day and So we're all ready to head off. Um, we've also got a little bit of paperwork to go and do on the way. Um, I do building work and part of that involves a lot of quoting. So we've just got a quote sort of on the way to go and do. So um, we'll head there first. Um, it's quite an easy one. It's just having a look from the road to see what the house looks like because we need to install some rails. So we'll head there and then we'll continue on our way out towards um, Kumu and the beaches out that way. So we'll see you on the road. people out in the water so we have surf life saving um, stations at our beaches and we have that you have the flags up and you're meant to swim between the flags to avoid things like rips because in New Zealand we have quite a lot of rips but yeah so they monitor in between um, the flags and that's where they recommend you to swim but yeah, so it's a really busy day out there and the surf looks quite nice. Hey, so this is um, one of the only beaches in New Zealand that you can drive on. It's actually considered a legal road, so all the same road rules that apply on the normal roads apply here as well. Um, as it's such a big beach, you can enter just a little ways along from where we are now and then continue driving along. Um, you're not allowed on the sand dunes or anything like that. But yeah, you can certainly go along because people go fishing at the various spots and basically play on the beach with their four-wheel drives. So yeah, not uncommon to see the vehicles on this beach as well. But you do have to have a permit to drive on here, so you have to um, apply for the permit first. Hey, so this is one of New Zealand's black sand beaches. Basically the West Coast beaches, a lot of them are black sand and that's caused through volcanic activity in the past. Um, but where we are right now, we're also right next to a keyhole and the rocks on the point. Um, the rocks on the point are a popular fishing spot, but quite a dangerous spot as quite often someone dies most years through getting washed into the water and getting washed out. So it's a really cool place to come, um, as a lots to do, especially at low tide, you can go into the keyhole and all that. But yeah, fantastic beach to come and explore.
part just sat there because I had a sore ankle. Mm, so we couldn't go to the long walk from the actual Murai beach. Yeah. So we've just taken the shorter route because um, of her ankle. So there's a path that links the main Murai beach that heads up and over the hill and basically comes up to the lookouts that we're heading to now. But yeah, as I, it's quite a steep trek and probably takes a good 20 minutes walking maybe. Yeah. So yeah, as I, we bypassed that for now and um, have just parked at the car park. You can probably see over behind us there. Um, the point up here links the, is between the two beaches, one on each side, both good surf beaches. Um, but I believe the Murawai beach is the only one with the actual surf life saving. So that's the more popular beach. But yeah, we'll continue up to where the lookout is and show you some of the gannet. heading down to one of the lookouts now um, there is about two really good lookouts that you can go to I'm going to go to the first one on the left and have a good view of the birds um, but no so it's quite an amazing view and it's quite incredible what how they migrate here every um, summer from Australia what do you think of it all Madison well it's really cool and there's so many birds like these down here, even though it's getting to the end of their season. What do you think of the smell? It's quite smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can see loads of people out there now. Surfers and people just doing fun summer swimming. And over this way is the second um, lookout. This one's more on top of the rocks that we told you about earlier before where a lot of people go fishing. So we can also look to the left when we're out at the point and see the other lookout point that we were standing on just a few minutes ago. So we'll show you again once we get over there. Mason, look at all the feathers everywhere. Here they are. You open your mouth for a while, you might even catch one. <laughs> Finishing up at Murawai now, um, we're going to head back towards the car. We've had a look at the gannet colonies and been for a little walk on the beach and rocks. Um, yeah, it's a good time out here, great fun, especially in this sort of weather. It's, it's probably getting on to 24, 25 degrees at the moment, so it's getting quite warm. Um, but yeah, it's coming up to lunchtime. We're going to head back, get an ice cream on the way home and sort of spend the afternoon probably back at home. your ice cream.
Okay, so we've got our delicious ice cream and so we're going to enjoy it now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. And if you could like and subscribe to our channel, that would be great. So we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye. Bye.